TradeMoneyATM.com. Well, that's okay. Let me get this straight. So retail traders are, you know, again, Robin, the Robin Hood people and us people that are, you know, doing it. No, no, so, no, no. Let me tell you what a retail trader is What's, first, okay. right? So let's get that a straight. retail trader is an individual trader, right? Who buys from a personal account. An institutional trader buys and sells from accounts they manage for groups or institutions. Okay, right? That's what I get. So, right. so okay. an institutional trader, basically, you know, like people like Warren Buffett, how much money do they control? Right? right. That's institutional traders. Right. Um, you know, invest some investment groups are big. Uh, also, bitch. you have family, family uh, houses, which is, I mean, family offices, which is like, um, you know, these wealthy families, they, leave their trusts and right. those things okay you know so we're talking millions and millions to billions of dollars right, right. versus even if you had a million dollars you would still be a retail trader um until you enact certain situations like um so you you're a millionaire let's say you play football or something mm -hmm. um until the point where you set up a, a family office and have your money you know like your 10 million be grow and, and develop itself into to, to where it's something that you have managed and you're you're in the same game as these people now where you might you know follow whatever strategy that a newsletter or uh your broker or someone else um you know pretty much brings to the table right mm -hmm. so when that happens you can go you know 10 million 20 million 30 million it's not necessarily the amount of money it does kind of kick in at a at a certain amount yes right. but it's groups of families too let's say had 50 to 100 million that's a big pool mm -hmm. retailers if i had a million and a hundred other people had a million we normally wouldn't work together or in this uh situation everyone is on social media everyone's at home Everyone has time to do their due diligence, do research, do whatever they're doing. And there's also people who have been in the game for a while with experience that are pretty much guiding other people and sharing their information. Now, um, you have a lot of groups that's popped up. Uh, they sell subscriptions. I mean, we have uh, the sim a similar situation with Trade Money ATM, but many people are doing that. And everyone might have a different way that they're going about research. But now, even when you look at um, like a YouTube, uh, you know, people tell me, oh, one of the stocks you shared with me a while back is now being talked about by someone on YouTube. So in those environments, what people do, the newer people, they look at what someone else is doing and then they copy it. So pretty much you're creating a catalyst where more and more and more people are grouped together. The herd is coming together. So mm -hmm. retail traders in this way and this new operational model model if you will right mm -hmm. are pretty much creating a quasi institutional uh or group because i mean it is the group <laughs> or creating a group sure. uh buying uh situation right. it's just a frenzy because it's not like you know i don't, I don't even know like ultimately it's good all things go up and come down i know that from experience right uh some people have a small amount of money, but if someone is like, and I, and I would never recommend this, if someone is mortgaging their house, you know, taking out loans in order to do this, yeah, you get in, you see a profit, and then you 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 take it. But now it's pretty much where it's like, no, we're fighting the system. Let's burn down the house. Well, that's gonna affect someone at the back end of this, like right? besides the people who own the entire system who are billionaires the question now is who survives longer me who you know i work at mcdonald's i pay my rent i pay for my car i feed my kids versus a billionaire who may have had 10 billion may lost 3 billion today or you know you know it's not a loss it transfers for a minute and then it comes back to the billionaire the group, <laughs> the the retail investment group phenomenon right now, right? The YOLO traders, the Reddit traders, the Twitter traders, the Instagram traders, right. this phenomenon yeah. is definitely a new element added to the game. 
But mind you, will this destroy the old paradigm of the 1% controlling everything? No, it won't, right? Right. It, it's not a unified thing. I mean, it, it is people doing a similar thing, but there's, so let's just, to make it simpler, let's say it was 10, 10 people. One of them has a limit of how long they could wait to pay their rent. Right. So if they sell, this thing goes down as well. Right. If this environment has a company where they're saying, hey, you can only buy five shares of GameStop, but what limit is placed on the billionaire, on the hedge funds as far as selling? Right, right. it's your man Pearly Q in the building for the ATM podcast. Be sure to hit that like button and hit that bell notification button to be notified every time we drop a new episode. All right. Follow on all social media at Pearly Q ATM podcast, trademoneyatm.com. We'll see you guys in the next video. Trademoneyatm.com.